Hello everyone, Morp here, and I have some awesome exciting news about the new PTS notes. I'm here on the PTS right now, and I'm going to be going over some of the new awesome changes here. And I am going to be testing out here at West Tech. And so, just to go over my build, I am a Bloodied Bats Commando. And look at my perks here. So everything's basically the same, except everything's not the same. Uh, a lot of the cards have been changed around and a lot of stuff has been moved over to the endurance tree uh, a lot of points that were uh, a lot of cards that were like three points are now one point the uh, serendipity is now one point which is freaking amazing the ricochet is now uh, one point as well and the uh, deflection chance goes up by the amount of luck that you have uh, same thing with the serendipity the chance is based on your luck uh, four leaf clover when you miss your your crit fills with freaking awesome also over here dodge is the same but evasive is now one card or one point and uh escape artist is still one uh dodge is still free um but having that as one card i'm able to have it in my build normally um these um i wouldn't have been able to have but the two points for starch jeans Starch Jeans is now only one point and it's moved over into Endurance. Now everything in Perception is all obviously the same uh, here. So I'm still basically the full amount of DPS and full amount of, of Hardcore that I was before. But now I'm able to put in all of the defensive perks. You now I have my Evasive, I have my Dodgy, my Serendipity, um, and my Ricochet. Um, all that rock and rolling. Um, and uh, I will go over here in just a moment some uh, some choices that have to be made with gear to make this all happen. Uh, but one of the key changes that are going to be happening is uh, I'm going to have the full 15 points in endurance. And in doing so, you know, I can have the full ironclad. I have starch gene, radical, fireproof, earth quencher, natural resistance. Some of, some of these point uh, cards I made. Um, Life giver is now now just one star and uh, two points. Um, still rock and roll. I do have blocker on, um, and this is one of the choices that we'll go over. For my legendary cards, I have just all specials, and other than that, I am a full bloodied. And as always, here let me go over, oops, go over my uh, patient and all that here. So we have everything's all normal down here. We have you know uh, the the. I'm really lazy, so I just use flight soup. That's the only thing at the farm, but otherwise I use carrot soup, uh, potato and mute fruit, and company tea. And here are my mutations, green oil reaction, bird bones, eagle eyes, egg head, and grounded healing factor. Some of these I, uh, I'll, I'll be getting rid of. Bird mentality, marsupial, speed human, unstable isotope, I know it. And uh, here are my specials with my gear. And so right now, currently, I am using uh, my normal setup of yielding AP, weapon weight with one piece of sneak, and I am utilizing the uh, fourth star that's been coming out, Sawbones, uh, which is making me heal for one one health, basically five health, because I have a full set of five. And oh yeah, I don't know if you've noticed this whole time, I've been just getting attacked here constantly. And I am a full bloodied used to be a glass cannon but not anymore I basically immortal in this build now I am utilizing a vampire weapon so the ricochet is constantly healing me so if I get out of the ricochet and my quad 25 25 and this one has the uh, a conductor mod on it which is every time I crit I get a little bit of help and an AP back for me and my teammates but even without having the vampire weapon on I'm basically immortal. It is very, very cool. Now, the one trade-off for this particular build that I have right now is that um, this is weapon weight. And I have, just for demonstration here, I had um, taken off the crew hiker and the uh, traveling pharmacy to kind of show you this stuff. But I can take this off here. I'll show you what this is this this will be the build that I'm probably going to be going with as of now to do four points in that 
uh, so that I can get the breaker right here and then uh, we'll put back on the traveling pharmacy so I don't really get a melee too much so this will be my my basic running around build and this is again for the quality of life oh I'm like super everything broken here because I just been melee the entire time let me heal real quick and rock and roll so now I'm able to go out with all this I do also have I did the choice just for this demonstration I have dense mod on just so I couldn't be blown up um, but other than that I'll, I'll again go back and you the, the jetpack is okay so anyway let me go and show let me actually put on my jetpack and I'm gonna go and go inside here and I will show you uh, the awesomeness with no nothing else changed the only thing that changes is putting back on the the through hiker and stuff and let's go show you what the damage is like back so the only thing that I, I have changed is getting my jetpack back otherwise everything else is still the same and also um, I know a lot of people um, may disagree with me I've seen other videos and I, I personally disagree I am full AP on everything I am a VAT commando AP is the most important thing to me but now I'm starting to think with a few building these new cards especially with the conductor and like I I feel like as long as I'm able to sit there and crit I am never running out of AP I can fly around like I normally do um, here we'll show you once we get inside now if you see in here keep an eye down at the bottom uh, right my AP bar when you crit it fills your AP and let them go on all hog wild here AP refresh is really crazy so and I could basically be running around here I could be death packing by the time I normally land I'm full Also, all those defensive perks that we showed outside, they're all still rock and rolling. No more are the days of being a glass cannon. And, and uh, a lot of people say uh, they'd like to try bloody, but they're, they'd be sick of dying all the time. I've been running around here. There's just a few times that I've actually died. They're kind of like, there's, there's certain, you know, I went and fought the Myrler Queen. And, um, you know, I don't have any I end up really poison resist so that was still kind of kind of killing me but you still see with this dog dog normally one shouts me but not anymore because I have all the DPS perks and I can still kill it in two bullets oh else is still in here I can still peek in here bullets to kill just about everything I am bloodied and I do well, I'm also using a quad 25 25 worry about reloading uh, so yeah this is gonna be game changing just way way I've always thought that Buddy Commando is super awesome I never liked the fact that I was able to be killed quite quickly but none of those days so we've gone over the oh, in, have the choice of not really looting as much if you wanted to min max more and get rid of the um, uh, weapon weight reduction stuff to get your uh, get rid of the five five points from the through hiker and the traveling pharmacy there actually is one other option as well if you want to really really min max I didn't quite figure out what to do with all of the cards but I do have this other set of armor up here this is limit breaker and with this, the uh, four star is uh, it gets your critical hits, like the cost of it down, with a full set of 50%. And this is also the through hiker set that I have. And uh, so with this set, you can even min max a little bit more and get rid of you can get rid of the traveling pharmacy perks uh, to get something different. You can get rid of the through hiker to get rid of uh, two points and also you can get rid of critical savvy because <clears throat> the way that those four stars work 
uh, with even without that on being bloody and with my luck uh, being at 33 no longer really need that and that's going to be very beneficial to for people that are playing full health that don't have the advantage of unyielding gear be able to still be a, a crit machine and um, i couldn't really figure out anything that would make it really viable for me um, because i'm basically everything else that i would need the only other thing that, that i would be able to do um, would be adding stuff that i don't particularly care about i mean the grim Reaper, uh, uh sprint is kind of cool to re refresh all the ap but i'm getting so much ap as it is it doesn't worth it the only other choice that i could do with that is um so then i will be testing out i mean if i am in um the power armor build which i haven't really gone into yet this will be really beneficial to to get the uh, dagger and the, the cripple limbs into there which is really nice um but other than that you know i was thinking for the queen would be pretty sweet i'd be able to have the full rank of tormentor on um but that's kind of a use case thing like it would only be really beneficial for when i'm particularly fighting the other than that, I just kind of stick with this for now. Uh, but definitely, there are so many different options. I am super not an expert at a whole lot of anything in this game. Uh, just kind of kind of know what I like and all that kind of thing. But there will be so many, so many options with all the different builds um, out there for you guys. So definitely a lot to be excited about. So, and I am definitely not covering everything. Uh, but anyway, let's go ahead and cover... Uh, changes from the actual test note from today there will also be a link in the description as well all right so let's take a look at the uh, perk changes that are in the notes that are linked down in the description down here so now it's going to cover all of the stuff that has been changed so animantium skeleton is down to one all night lawn is also down to one batteries included is from three to two this one i've actually used nice it saves me one perk card Makes all of the energy, ammo, and all that stuff. Ores and all that way. Um, barely anything. I like that so that I don't have to worry about loot. That's because those can be pretty heavy without it. Uh, Blood Suckers down to one. And uh, I was also moved from Charisma to Prince. Kind of cool. Yeah, basically, every, I, I can't see anyone not having the full 15 points in endurance. So much awesome stuff in there. So the uh, healing's increased in that. Uh, the bullet shield, once I do like a heavy a heavy weapon build, I'm definitely going to be that. Uh, I've never actually, I don't have any experience before though. Cannibal is down to one, which is cool. Cap collectors is also down to one for people that like to go and farm roots, cap stashes. Really nice. Basive, super duper awesome, down to one. First aid also down to one, which is crazy cool. Or the clovers down to one as well. I'll probably have to think about this a little bit better, or maybe wait for a lot smarter with all the math and all the stuff to see if we can really find out to see how much of the luck and especially with the fourth star, and the limit breaker. It's gonna be really interesting to see how this all all works out. And rock and roll. Let's see. Hard bargains down to one. Um, Charisma also has been. It's gonna be having its cap taken away. So I'm definitely going to make like a build specifically just in the punch card machine for when I go into the mall to go buy a bunch of cryptic cards. Let's see. The Iron Stomach now increased energy resistance. Kind of cool. Uh, junk Shield, I've never used that. Down to one, and it now works in power armor. Now I've never had like a whole bunch of junk on me intentionally. We get a bunch of resistance stuff. I haven't really. I don't know anyone that. that. Kind of cool. The Life Giver. Awesome. Down to one. Bone Wander. I'm always in the team for all the mutations and all that stuff, so I don't know that. It is down to one, which is nice. Natural is, is energy. Here is just added to a lot of stuff. Cool. Night Eyes. Just make everything brighter. Ordnance Express down to two. Another thing I don't use, but it's pretty cool. Oh, there's just so many more options that we can have for all kinds of different builds with these cards all being 
Farmerston Ricochet. Super duper awesome. Uh, down from three to one. Uh, now increases deflect chance based on your luck. So I still, because of the other cards that I use in luck, I do want to make sure that I have maxed out luck. The higher your luck, the higher your intelligence and higher your endurance. A lot of these cards are counting on on that. So I still want to keep, even though I might be able to like take the three points out of luck to move uh, to something else because I don't need full luck anymore for uh, my crit chance and stuff, different options that I do. I'm still going to keep everything maxed out. Um, this will all be a works, works in progress. We'll have to wait and see. Finalize this update as well. Let's see, but Serendipity, this is also, it's down to one. It made chance all under things because I'm a bloody commando. Yeah, so bloody is definitely got to increase. Everything, everything does. Excited about not being a glass can, not having to work. Iron. And the uh, starch jeans down to one is super awesome. Hiker. Rock and roll. Well, for all the new changes and... I really hope you guys enjoyed this and keep an eye on date. We still don't know, quite know exactly when the update's going to be coming out. I'm expecting either the 3rd or maybe the 10th, but who, who really knows? We'll have to wait. But definitely, if you guys could, click like and subscribe. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think. Let me know if you're excited. Also, you can check down the description for, for our Discord. Come and hang out with us. Other than that, we will end our live streams. You guys have an awesome day. You end the wait.